That's real. So they'll say that Nick Cannon it got nah, 13, 12 kids. But you ain't talking about what type of father he is, though. Mm -hmm. Come on, talk about how many kids he got. That yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. You... But you hear that so much when they talk about being black and so forth and how it's I, oppressed. I've, I've heard black fathers are the worst for a lot of years. That comes from um, years when they was on cocaine and heroin. Yeah. It has nothing to do with the generations past that. Because the CDC has been saying for the last 10 years that black fathers are the most active amongst any race with their children. That's real. But yeah. black women keep saying shit about black fathers. And then, but the most of the, I don't know the, and, and what crazy is, I don't know these black fathers. That's real. That's I real. know more, I know, I, I don't think it's a woman that know more men than I actually know. You, it, It's impossible for you to know more men than I know. I don't know this man who you talking about. Yeah, yeah. And you got to say, say the same one. Thing. You got to say, say the one same thing. Nigga. Some but good, you, it's some good you, dads out there. You went past ten motherfuckers that that's good dads to talk about this one that's goddamn right. dad. That's right. That's real. <laughs> so they say that Nick Cannon it got nah, 13, 12 kids, but you ain't talking about what type of father he is though. Mm -hmm. Come on, talk about how many kids he got. They, they go to they, no, no, but they go right to the part of just the count, amount just, of kids. Just, just counting the kids. It. That's it. That's it. That's so real. Just counting the kids, but not talking about what type of father he is. But let's go back to it. Count Joe Jackson kids. Yeah, yeah. Talk about what type of father he was. Tell me the ones that was in trouble. That's real. That's real spill. Tell me, tell me, King Richard, tell me the ones that was in trouble. Shit. James Evans had a goddamn bunch of kids. Tell me who was in trouble. <laughs> That's the, real. It's the thing. It's like what's associated with, just like with this. You hear, you've always heard this. Hollywood, black Hollywood TV make black men look awful. I've always heard this. He said, and that. if you and if you hear you you hear it long enough, you start to believe it, but you never think about it. I'm fifty. I want to know. Growing up, how old are you, brother? I'm fifty three. Growing up, where what show did you grow up with that Hollywood made us look bad? And I wait. No. Not growing up. No, the, the internet that made you look bad because you out there making <laughs> a fool before. I, I, I wait. No, I ain't no, it, ain't no, ain't even, no Hollywood. Anytime you date, we are depicted on screen. Grow me growing up, I can name the shows. You yeah. say you be telling me that well, that's Tyler, Tyler Perry. Perry. Now that's different. That's, 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 that's different. That's, that's a new a, age. That's a new age. But growing growing up, up you didn't see that. Didn't see that. We had. It was nothing but <clears throat> yeah, the, the Jefferson fathers. The Jefferson. Even before Fred Cosby Sanford, show, before Cosby show, Fred Sanford, we talking about that's my mama. That's my mama. We talk every show I've ever seen growing up. The Jeffersons, all these people had mother and father, and that Lionel had his mother and his mom. That's right. That's right. Fred and, Flintstones. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no damn. That's, what, <laughs> that's so, a mother and father in there. Yeah, but he's a he, he, yeah. black. Yeah. He's black. He is not black. That nigga is a rolling stone. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the the effects of things, I think that people have been caught up in this thing where they allow they they so busy allowing something to affect them. Mm -hmm. They they want they want to have the effect story just so we can be related. Yeah, I was I was drunk yeah, time yeah. too. Yeah, the they, victim. Everybody want to grab victim. their pearls while you grabbing yours. I was I was too. And it's like so. Nah, we, don't we, we, we ain't no mental fortitude mm -mm. in our mm -mm. in our culture. Ain't no nobody succumbs. Nobody's um has <laughs> overcome anything. Mm -hmm. My father wasn't present at a point, and then he was present. Right. Then he wasn't present because I didn't need him. I didn't need him anymore, um, so to speak. But then when I was maybe 40, 40 some years old, I called him. Mm. I was going I was going through something. Wow. And I called him. I said, yo, man, need um I need some time with you, bro. My daddy got on a bus. Come on now. My daddy got on a bus from Pinesville, Louisiana. To and, be there and for came, you. And came and came to Houston. But Did it help? 
Yeah, because I need to talk to him. That's real. Yeah, I need to. I need to rap with him. You know what I'm saying? See, that's and, old school. Mm. Yeah, I need to yeah, rap. Yeah, yeah. He face rap to with face, it. no yeah. phone calls or nothing. Yeah, face it, to it, face. It's no. My mama couldn't. It's nothing. My mama could do. It, it's. I need your advice. That's real. And he came and said all he could say. And then he was. He was. He was. But me and my pops was as adults. Me and my pops was tight. That's real. You know I'm saying I buried my father. I washed his body. I Come did. On now. You know, did I? I um. I settled all his debt. That's real. Long before you passed, <clears throat> me and my pops was we was one hundred, and it always leads me to these things about when you you judge somebody, but you never know what they situation was. Come on now. I was, That's the good stuff I right was there. Blame this nigga for not knowing how to be a father. But this nigga ain't had no father. Come on now. That's why you got fathers of, this nigga fathers abusive, was beating the shit out his mama. They it, my grandmother escaped with, with my dad, then he had kids later with somebody. But this nigga didn't like nigga, I ain't know all that shit. He said, bro, I did the best I could, bro. On he say being one hundred with you, man. It I knew this. And when I look at it, the things that he actually really knew. I actually really know because that's what he gave me. He he really gave me the things. He, this my my mom could only give me what she knew. What, what she, she knew. knew. He gave me what he knew. You know what I'm saying? So the other family dynamics, my uncles, my aunts, they they added in the the other missing ingredients. Come on, gotta to, make a way boy. to make me. And then the people, the the other things that I didn't have, I ran into people. It's a community. And have your you have your Village. peers and you have. You have a lot of people that you learn from. My grandmother and them was still present. So I feel blessed and full when it comes to my family. Like I've I've lived with all of my family members. That's hard. It was in like me and my cousins are so close because we lived in the house together. That's where it was. You know what I'm saying? That's me and where my it was. aunts so close. I, my aunts know they live I lived yeah. with them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you know, old school when you went in the living room, it might be a bed in there. Yeah, it's yes, old school. I'm talking about. Yeah, man. You my, go through the front door, you see the back door. You talking about it might be a bed. I'm talking about. You might you go everything section a, right there. The it's gonna be a bed because <laughs> that, that couch is a is a pull out bed. That's right. But those those the three houses. those three pillows. They came off that couch. That's somebody's pallet. Come on, that, man. That's a bed, too. If we didn't yeah, have no rooms in yeah, one yeah, section yeah. off like that. Hey, nigga, man. you gonna get in there and lay down. Yeah, hey, man, you take, a, you take them three pillows, you take a, you. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.